Hello, I'm Madeline Hayes. And I'm David Addison. And we'd like to take a moment and just welcome back... Excuse me. Hello? David, it's your mother. Mom! Hi, Mom! Oh, gosh, it's so great to hear your voice. Huh? No, babe, it's just hard to hear you with that iron lung working. So how you doing? You gonna make it? Only a week and a half till the Emmys. Of course we're gonna win 16 nominations, Ma. We can't lose. Ma, don't, don't be ridiculous. He's not gonna win. He won last year. They're not gonna give it to him again. Your doctor? Yeah, sure, put him on. Hi, Doc. Really? You think she's gonna be able to pull through with some encouragement? Oh, that's great. <sighs> Doc, Doc, don't worry about it. 16 nominations, kid. We can't lose. It's in the bag. Pretty lot of wear and tear on the old this pumps, This time, isn't it? you're not talking me out of it. This time, I mean what I say. Fine, just say what you mean. We are not helping that man. We are not having anything to do with that man. That man is a murderer. Maybe. Murderer? Murderer, maybe. Fine. I don't care. We don't help murderers. We don't help murderers, maybe. Will you relax? Relax? I mean, hit his wife, hit his wife. Fine. Fine? I don't mean fine, fine? I mean fine, yes. yes. Agreed, the man hit his wife. Uh -huh. uh, let me talk. Uh. Yes, he hit her, and that's a terrible thing, but he didn't mean to do it. He didn't. And that makes it all right? No, I don't think that makes it all right. But even the law acknowledges there's such a thing as losing your temper, becoming irrational, committing an act of passion. Passion? You call hitting your <laughs> wife, knocking her down the steps and burying her body in the backyard, passion? I don't call it passion, no. But you think it's okay. No, I don't think it's okay. But it happens. People do things and say things that they would never do if they thought them through. They react emotionally, spontaneously. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, spontaneously. People acting spontaneously. A lot of that going around lately. Every time some damn fool marries someone he has no business marrying and hits someone he has no business hitting, all the boys get together and say, we're sorry, we didn't mean to do it. It was just spontaneous. Forget I said spontaneous. The issue here is, are we going to help this man? The man needs our help. The man needs help, period, David. And not the kind he could get from you and me. I'd know that slam anywhere. Mr. Addison, I didn't know you were here. The important thing is, does she? I don't think so. Well, so far, so good. I guess I'll just mosey on in, stick the old cabeza in, and say good morning. Yo, Maddie! Got any raw meat? Addison. You called? Did I call? Yes, I called. I called you every name in every language I could think of and a few I couldn't. And I'll be calling you an ambulance if you don't get out of my office this second. Is this about last night? Out! Ma Ma out! Maddie, look! Out! Look, all right, it was my fault. Mia culpa, all right? Robert culpa. Maddie, listen to me. I am sorry. Honest engine. Envelope's gonna limit the possibilities. Oh, David, nothing makes sense anymore. What's happened to all the rules? You meet someone, you flirt with them a little, you flirt with them a little more, you go out, you fall in love, you get married, you stay married. What's happened to all of that? What's okay. happened to romance? Have you looked at a calendar lately? What's that supposed to mean? It means this is the 80s, Maddie, and in the 80s, you take your romance where you can find it. And if that means a 22-cent postage stamp, fine. If it means a buck to rent an adult video, that's fine, too. Maybe it's a $2 toll call to someone you never met who would say things you would never utter to someone you know. It's all romance. That's not romance. That's dirty solitaire. Yeah. These are great times we're living in, huh? It no longer takes two to tango. May I? Absolutely. David Addison, you are a vile, unevolved swine. Yes, I am. You don't deserve to belly up to the same trough with the rest of the pigs. Right again. You give bacon a bad name. Yeah. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Look, I'm just as embarrassed about this as you are. 
I know that it was childish. I know that it was immature. And I really don't have a good excuse for my behavior. At least, nothing occurs to me off the top of my head. I'm sorry. Uh, I know that we'll both feel better if you keep this in your office. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't know. I guess I'm just surprised. And relieved. And pleased. I'm really sorry. I believe you are. I'm a girl watcher. I'm a girl watcher. Watching girls go by. My, my, my. I don't really need to keep this. I get trichinosis just looking at you. Careful. It's a precision instrument. I thought I understood you, David Addison. I thought I knew the limits of your behavior. But your <laughs> depravity knows no limits, does it? Well, this hot air is fogging up my lens. Ogling some secretary like she was a piece of meat in a butcher's window. I'm not ogling. I'm... Imaginating. I'm... Appreciating. I'm contemplating her cleavage. Oh, when you're right, you are right. What you're doing is not only. Yes, Miss Hayes. So that's it. Just gonna go hide in your office and be mad at me? I'm not mad at you. I hate you. I despise you. I loathe the ground under which you burrow. Maybe it was the wind. Are you in trouble? Trouble? <laughs> Me? Trouble's my middle name. I laugh at trouble. I tickle trouble under the chin. Miss Hayes seemed a little upset. Miss Hayes is always a little upset. She'll get over it. You'll see. She'll come crawling out of there before you can say, Get in here! She's nuts about me. Me with a roof over thy thick skull. And for that, by the gods, if I say the moon be the sun, then to you, good wife, it shall be so. Good wife, I am in name only, good husband. And thus it is the moon, and tis the moon, no matter what thee said. Tis the sun, or no sleep for thee. Tis the moon, and to bed I'm away. The sun. The moon. The sun. The moon! <laughs> Bang, zoom. I hope they like these jokes on the moon, Kate, because that's where you're going. I will not stand for this. You I will, will be the king in this my this. castle. King, king, Some king. Some king, and not even a vassal to command in this tonight, castle. Instead, well, I tis the moon I choose to sleep, lesson. and in there Thus, I choose to sleep and sleep night, you will sleep in there until the without me, until, you until you I say it. otherwise. Understand, Understand it? Fine! <laughs> He thinks there's something familiar about that. Something? Yes. No. I'm sorry, too. Mr. McGillicuddy, I hope you'll stay. Yeah, I'd like that. Mr. Pesto, I'd like you to call Mr. Hamilton in the morning and tell him that we just can't have his casework by the 28th. Doesn't he know it's Christmas? I'll make that call right now. And you... Good, Good night. night.